Hi, I'm Paul Steinbrook, co-founder and CEO of OurChurch.com. And today I want to talk to you about DIY church SEO. That is SEO as in search engine optimization for your church and DIY should you do your own search engine optimization. Now I don't do a lot of videos like this. Usually when I want to share insight and information, I do it in the uh, context of a blog post, a written blog post. But today this video is inspired by and spurred on by a video that I saw by Brady Shearer and his team at Pro Church Tools. Um, I believe it is episode 38 of Ask Brady. And in that episode, Brady asks uh, or answers a question from one of his readers about whether they should hire somebody to do church SEO. So I want to start by saying thank you to Brady and his team for tackling this issue and talking about church SEO. And uh, if you have not seen that video, I'll embed it down below in the blog post. And I encourage you to watch it and see what his response is. But just to sum up what his perspective on this is, uh, I just want to take a minute to do that. First, um, he says that SEO is of supreme importance. And I totally agree. Um, this is a, a huge issue. If you want people to find your church and um, to find Christ, you need people to be able to find your church website when they search Google or Bing or Yahoo or any other search engine. So SEO is extremely important. Um, another point that he makes is that there are a lot of sleazy and spammy SEO companies who are sending out junk mail trying to convince people that they can make their website uh, rank better in search engines. And I also totally agree with that because I get tons of those emails myself. Um, it's kind of ironic. People come or people email me and say, hey, we can do SEO for you. And my first thought is, well, we do this for lots of other clients. So I think we got it there. Um, last point that Brady makes is that if you can build your own website, you can probably do your own SEO for the website. And um, in that case, um, I think that he is probably on with that. He's accurate with that, that if you can build your own website, you probably can. But the question that I would ask you is, just because you can do the SEO, should you do it? Um, there is a lot involved in, uh, in search engine optimization for a church website. So let me just run down a few of the things that you need to learn and do if you're going to optimize your own website. All right, let's start with making sure that your website itself can be read by search engines. You'll want to set it up with Google Search Console and Bing, Web, Bing Webmaster Tools, submit your uh, sitemap to them, and then to review the results to make sure that there are no errors in reading or indexing your church website. Now, once you've done that and you've fixed any problems with your website, you'll want to do some keyword research to find out what phrases or keywords your website should target in order to connect with the people in your community who are searching for your church. So um, when we do this for our clients, we look at how popular um, each keyword that we're considering might be, how difficult it is to rank for them, and how relevant it is for, um, for your website. And so take all of those factors into consideration and, uh, and then you decide what keywords you're going to target. Once you've done that, you'll want to decide which keywords you want to target for each page of your website and develop a plan for optimizing those pages. <clears throat> and that on-page optimization includes things like changing the title tags, the meta description tag, the headings of the page, optimizing images, optimizing the rest of the content on the page. All right, so once you've learned to do that and done that with your website, another really, really important part of church SEO is local listings. So you want to make sure that your church is listed in Google Maps, Bing Maps, Yahoo Maps, Yelp, and some other local listing sites like that. And there's quite a bit of manual labor that's involved with this. You'll need to register your site with those, uh, with those sites if it already hasn't been done. 
You'll need to verify with those. That means sometimes you'll need to get on the phone with Google or Bing or request a postcard sent to your address. They'll give you a verification code. You then put that code into their website to verify you are who you say you are. And then you need to optimize those listings so that it includes the right information about your church. All right, so once you've gotten your website optimized, your local listings set up, then it's time to look at your ongoing SEO plan, things that will help your website to rank better over time. These things include link building, um, trying to get other websites to link to yours, um, content marketing, which might be blogging or creating videos, which will help to improve your search rankings. And then um, also in the mix might be social media to help your website rank better. Now, once you have figured out all of the ongoing SEO that you're going to do, there's also SEO maintenance that is involved because one of the myths out there is that once you optimize your website and you get good rankings, it'll stay there. Well, that just is not true. Um, rankings fluctuate all the time, and there are lots of things that can cause a website that has good search rankings to go down. Now, some of those things include um, uh, making changes to your website that might affect the optimization. So you might build a website for your church, might rank well for like student ministry in your town, and then the student minister goes in edits the website, takes out a bunch of the things that you optimized, and now your website doesn't rank well for that. So one of the, uh, one of the things to do when you are uh, doing the maintenance part of SEO is monitoring your website, monitoring the search rankings of your website, and then another thing you'll want to do is to keep uh, on top of what changes are happening at the search engine. So is Google have they made a recent algorithm update or has Bing made some changes in their site? And so you'll need to keep up with this in order to know if you need to alter the optimization of your church website. All of the things that are involved in church SEO. Now, if you have built your own website, can you learn how to do all of these things and do them all yourself? Well, it's very possible that you might be able to do that. And the question though is, should you do that? I mean, it could take you 20, 30, 50 hours to do all the research, learn how to do all of these things, look into the tools that you'll need to do them all, and then to implement the optimization. So is it really worth your time to do all of that? Or do you have other things in your job description? Or if you're a volunteer, do you have other things that you can be doing for your church that make better use of your time? One other factor to consider in your decision as to whether to do your own search engine optimization for your church website is um, whether you, as, a, as you're learning SEO for the first time and implementing SEO for the first time, what kind of results are you going to be able to get compared with what a professional could get with their years of experience having optimized dozens or even hundreds of other websites and gotten good search rankings for them? An analogy I like to use is um, if you need your brakes replaced on your car, you could ask a mechanic, do I really need to take my car to a mechanic to get the brakes replaced, or can I replace my brakes myself? Now, a mechanic might say, look, there are tons of, there are some really good videos online. Let me recommend a few to you. You can watch, learn how to replace your own brakes. Then you can get some ramps and get the tools that you need and you can spend a weekend and replace your ramps yourself and save a bunch of money. Now, I know there are some, some guys and girls out there who will take that route. They'll learn how to do their own breaks and they'll spend a weekend doing them and, um, and take care of it themselves. But I know there are also a lot of people out there who would say, you know, I'm, I'm really busy right now. Um, I would rather spend my time doing something else and uh, let my mechanic Take care of the brakes. Plus, you know, I'm I'm a little bit concerned about doing my brakes for the very first time, and I don't really want to take that risk. I'd rather leave it to the professionals. So, that's my perspective on uh, DIY church SEO. To me, it's not really about um, are you able to do your own SEO for your church website, but really should you do your own SEO 
for your church website. And that's not really something that I can answer for you. It's not a, uh, not a question that has the same answer for everybody. It's really going to depend on um, how much time you have available, how much you value your time, what other things you could be doing with that time. And, um, and so all of that is a factor. So as you consider that, um, if you've got any other questions that I can answer for you about church SEO, go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom of this video or blog post, and I'll respond to that. And um, if you are considering um, hiring a professional to do your church SEO, um, I agree with Brady's advice. Be very wary of anybody who would send you an unsolicited email out of, out of nowhere. You know, if you're considering hiring a company, um, do your due diligence. Make sure that they've been in, around for a while. Um, make sure that they're getting good results. And I would recommend that you look for a company that has experience with churches because there are some things that are specific to churches that, um, that may need to get figured out. You may be a church that meets in a school or a church that's multi-site and all of those things factor into the, uh, into the SEO. So if, uh, if you are considering a professional SEO firm, hope you'll consider OurChurch.com, um, but you know, compare us to others and look into other options that you have available and uh, do as the Lord leads you. So thanks for watching this video. And um, one last thing, Brady, if you or anyone from your team is watching this, if you'd like to uh, talk more about church SEO, if you'd like to do something together to go more in depth, like a podcast or a video or something together, we'd be happy to do something like that. All right, everybody, thanks very much and have a great day.